Hi everyone. Today's recipe is going to be one of the more simple ones that you'll ever see me make. It is going to be Dr. Pepper barbecue ribs in the crock pot. So what do we need for our ingredients to make the Dr. Pepper barbecue ribs? A rack of ribs, the recipe calls for three to four pounds. Mine is almost three pounds. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper. One half teaspoon garlic powder. One teaspoon liquid smoke. One cup barbecue sauce, and I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's, and 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper. I just love the crock pot. I had seven children and a full-time job. So I just put supper into the crock pot before I went to work, and when I got home, it was done, and the kids didn't have to wait until eight or nine o'clock to eat. The crock pot sure helped me be a busy mom. If you're busy moms out there, I don't have to tell you that, because you already know. So I use slow cooker liners. That way it makes um, clean up a breeze. It doesn't have to be the Reynolds Kitchen ones. I usually buy the, just the generic kind. But this is the best invention ever for crock pots. So we just open up the baggie like this and stick it in to the liner. It is heat proof so it can cook for the eight hours and then when you're done you just pull it up and tie it up and throw it away. You might have to wipe out your crock pot but you don't have to scrub and scour it. Then I also have a rack here that I use a lot. Generally I use it for when you're having chicken or something that you don't want to be sitting into the liquid. You don't want it soggy. But I'm going to be using it just so the airflow and heat can get all the way around the ribs. So the first thing you want to do is check the back of your ribs to see if it has the silver skin on that. And what the silver skin is, is a lining that kind of works as a corset or a spandex and it holds the ribs up and in but it is not good to eat it's really really tough these ribs have already had their silver skin removed so i don't have to worry about that so we'll go ahead and cut the ribs into sections and put them into the crock pot Pretty easy. I'm going to sprinkle the 1 fourth teaspoon, the 1 half teaspoon of garlic powder, the 1 teaspoon of liquid smoke, one cup barbecue sauce over the ribs. And then the last ingredient is going to be 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper. And we're just going to pour that on there. the lid on. I've got a travel one so it's got like little locks on it. I just love this crock pot. And you turn it on to low and that is all there is to it. And you let it cook for eight hours on low and you do not want to take the lid off during its cooking time. So we'll Check back in in eight hours. It's time to eat. We have our 
Dr. Pepper barbecued spare ribs. We have our oven roasted garlic corn and to round out the meal we have Amish pasta salad. Please let me know if you've tried this and what you think of it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.